proposal over the future of gas stoves in Chicago has been heating up in the last few months, and it could limit gas emissions within new construction projects. In tonight's WGN Investigates, Lourdes Duarte walks you through the ongoing battle over a decades-old appliance. Well, Chicago is not the only city talking about this. Dozens of others are either enacting or considering new building codes to limit gas stoves or emissions from natural gas. It's a complicated issue with opinions on all sides. Buenos dias. Every chef knows his kitchen. Tenemos que cocinar algo sobre esto. And Chicago chef Rick Bayless knew his kitchen would make a transition years ago. We wanted to make everything as environmentally perfect as possible. We do a lot of inductions. His move to shift away from gas cooking is part of a hot topic emerging at homes and restaurants across the country right now. I fell in love with induction because I think that induction is where we're headed for the future. And the future in Chicago is a debate that's taking center stage among the city council, its aldermen, and the mayor. A proposal known as the Clean and Affordable Buildings Ordinance is being considered. It would put in place emissions limits for any new construction. Gas stoves wouldn't meet those standards, meaning electric or induction stove tops would replace them and potentially replace other gas appliances. The ordinance still has a long way to go. Some aldermen want to slow things down, but adding more fuel to the debate is a citizen's utility board, or CUB. It's questioning how much people's gas has known about health concerns with gas stoves. I'm just wondering what their response would be to this. I, my, I think they would just say this was 50 years ago. WGN Investigates sat down with Cub as they unearthed a rare new document dating back 50 years, well before published studies on the effects of gas in the 90s. We'll get into it in a second. But Cub argues that it contradicts recent testimony by People's Gas President Torrance Hinton. Here he is late last year testifying that the gas utility knew nothing of research linking health concerns to gas stoves. I'm not aware of any study linking asthma or other health concerns solely based on using natural gas as a cooking source. His testimony brings us back to that 1974 document sitting at the Galvin Library. It's an Institute of Gas Technology memo of minutes that included then People's Gas President G.L. Murrow. It reads, overall, IGT is concerned with a variety of liquid, solid, and gaseous pollutant emissions from several sources. The memo makes reference to gas burners and the Institute's work to study how to lower pollution. It doesn't, however, spell out specific health risks, but Cub says it shows concerns about gas have been there for decades. To have an executive from the gas company claim that they have no knowledge of this, is it, it's ridiculous. A lot of unanswered questions in my mind in terms of what leaders at People's Gas knew, what they know right now, and what they're advocating for to make sure that our homes are as healthy as possible. There's still a lot of back and forth over the ordinance and the issue. Chicago doctor Juanita Mora is watching it all. We're four doctors and then we have a policy coach too that work with us who's an MPH in climate justice. She wrote a paper on the potential health risks with gas stoves, met with the White House and the Environmental Protection Agency. She says the real concern lies within some of Chicago's largest minority communities with families living in tight spaces with poor ventilation and gas cooking a large part of everyday life. And I tell people, let's follow the science because the science tells us now we have good studies that show that especially kids with developing lungs are going to be 42% increased risk of having asthma. People's Gas is pushing back on the research though, along with the Clean Energy Choice Coalition. There's just a lot of finger pointing back and forth. Let's have a task force open to the public, allow the proponents, the opponents, the public to kind of weigh in and kind of find out what we want to do as a city. In a statement, People's Gas said there's insufficient evidence of the health risks and, quote, the ordinance would increase costs and risk reliability for everyone, especially during the coldest days of the year, like Chicago saw in January. While the debate plays out, making a move to electric won't be easy. Especially if you're trying to take the gas stove from an abuelita or a grandma, they're going to be like, are you kidding me? From grandmas... Cualquier. 
to famed chefs, all will have a lot to say when it comes to their kitchens and the heart of so many homes. The thing that you have to understand about it is that the technology has come quite a long way, but it's not as reliable, perhaps, as your old gas range would be. And Alderman Villegas has significant support for a resolution that would table the current ordinance proposal by creating a task force to study its impact that's expected to come up sometime next month. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN Investigates.